Today's topic. All right, so I'm gonna read out a story for you today because this is a great story. Oh, story time. Nice. My ex got his act together after we divorced. My husband and I were together for 10 years, married for six, no kids. We eventually grew apart. And that is to say, I grew up and he didn't. He wanted to live the life of a teenager well into his 30s. The last two, three years together, we were horrible. After his dad passed away, he gained all his weight, lost his job. I tried to help and support him, but he would just wallow in self-pity and stopped pitching in around the house. He spent all his free time smoking weed and being around on the computer. Mm -hmm. He had to sell his junk card to pay our bills. Eventually, we had enough, and we got a divorce in 2015. Were essentially been no contact since it was finalized. Last Friday, I happened to bump into him downtown, and he's a completely different person. He lost all the weight he put on, had actually toned up some. He was wearing a tailored suit. He had an ill-fitting one for weddings and funerals while we were together. It's a little petty. And he had a nice watch. He may have gotten hair plugs or something because his thinning hair wasn't as pronounced as before. He told me he bought a condo nearby within walking distance of his new job, a well-known tech firm in our town. Our encounter was brief and he was nice to me. He even apologized for how our relationship soured and wished me all the best. It's been four days since I saw him. And honestly, I just get angrier the more I think about it. I gave the 10 best years of my life to this man and got nothing from it. We never had kids. He never had much money. When we divorced, I started from square one. Now he's Mr. Successful while I'm struggling. My job is very stressful and I'm making less than I was five years ago. I live alone and money is tight. I've been having some intestinal digestive issues and doctors don't seem to know what's wrong with me. I guess I just want to know why he couldn't have been better to me and why I was never worth the effort. That's it. Oh, that was not love. That was a transaction. I can't really put the finger on it, but you are mad because he's in a better place man that is not love well she's wondering why he couldn't have been in a better place when they were together because these things take time you left you decided to end the relationship that's what you said well they were married for 10 years i'm not saying no 10 years still 10 years is a long time 10 years is a long time for someone to be up yeah it is do you think somebody's gonna stay with somebody who's up for 10 years expecting them to turn it around 10 years i'm not expecting that but i mean you got married in the vow it says for better or for worse that is the worst that's not me that took the vow I'm, you did it's an engagement that you have with someone maybe it lost its sense and it lost what it means or maybe i'm being too literal with this shit. yes 10 years is a lot but when you say for better or for worse that's the worst that is part of it it could have been worse than that, but as a part of it, I understand why she left. I get it. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you married the dude in the first place. Did she? I don't know. Maybe that's not what she was advertised. Maybe There's plenty not... of people who get into a marriage thinking it's one thing, then they get married. People get comfortable and they take everything for granted. It's possible. You know what? I'm going to give it to you. We don't know. Fair. But you walk out he feels better. You're mad because he feels better. That should be me. I don't think she's mad that he feels better. She's mad that she was hoping he would do all those things while they were together. And it seems like the moment she's out the picture, now he's doing all the things that she wished he would have done. The human brain is really weird to function. Mm -hmm. It takes weird slap in the face for you to realize. It. okay maybe you were enabling him i don't know i was not in the relationship you leaving him was maybe the thing that he needed to get off his ass you were there i supported him i supported him and then, and then, and then i gave and i gave and i gave maybe that's what it was maybe he needed you to get the fuck out of there sometimes you need to reach bottom of the barrel rock bottom pierre fond peter deep you need to reach the bottom bottom. Is it logic? No, it's human. So maybe she, her leaving was the thing that he needed. Is it sad? Yeah. Is it unfortunate? Absolutely. Poor you. But it is what it is. Entitlement about that, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm uneasy about. I can't really put my finger on it. I'll, let, I'll ponder on that and I'll let you finish. Just go. I'll come back on that. Let me okay. just think about this. All right. Here's the truth. Him changing after you dumped him is not a big surprise. You were the catalyst. 
potentially, or maybe something after you was the catalyst. But you can't hope to be the catalyst and the beneficiary. If you are what brings about change, that change may not benefit you. I'll give you an example. You have kids, they grow up to be adults. Sometimes they don't learn the importance of responsibility until they leave the nest. Sometimes they don't develop into real human beings and real adults until they're out of their parents' home. Maybe that person needed to leave in order to realize what they needed to do for themselves to grow. When you're in a place of comfort where you know nothing's going to go wrong, you don't have too much incentive to change. So when he was in a comfortable relationship with you, odds are he felt like, I can be complacent because I'm always going to have this girl on my back. And when that was removed from under him, he had to reassess some things. Second thing that strikes me is that, I'll try to put this in business terms. When you invest in a company and it goes nowhere, like what he said earlier, it's your choice to invest in that company. You pull out, and then after you pull out, the investment takes off and the company takes off. Well, boo-boo, you already sold your shares. It's over. That's your cut investment. You don't get a return on investment. But that was business. When it comes to people, I feel like it's very similar. You know, at the end of the day, what he said wasn't totally off. When you marry somebody, you marry them as they are. Because you grow doesn't mean someone's going to grow at the same rate as you, right? You said something I said was interesting, which was when we met, to get, when we got together, things were great, but I grew past him and he never grew up. Even to his 30s, he kept all these bad habits. Your speed of growth may not be his speed of growth. We all grow differently. And so the fact that he didn't grow at your pace, that's the reality. I have friends from high school who I love, but the reality is we grew apart because they didn't grow at the same pace or in different directions than I did. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look at them like, why haven't you guys joined me in this? They have their journey. It's not a race. It's a marathon. How long can motherfuckers last? People can grow apart, and that's a normal process. That process doesn't mean that one person messed up or the other one didn't we all have our journeys even within relationships that's a reality he's 37 you're 34 so that meant you guys got married when you were around 24 and 27 that's young too young too young professionally we're not established as adults and human beings we're not completely sure of who we are yet for you guys to get married that young and be surprised that you're growing apart it's not surprising to me right so that's the other thing to consider and the last thing is your unhappiness with your current situation has nothing to do with him. If you're in a relationship, you come out of it, you have all this time afterwards and things don't go well or go the way that you want. And you see they're going well for him. And you're like, what happened? Why did you boo boo? You should be focused on your situation. And if your situation was better, I guarantee you wouldn't be mad at the progress that he made in his life. You mad. Because you didn't do everything that you needed to do to set yourself up. And now you're looking for outside excuses for why your circumstances suck so much. Oh, this guy, I couldn't believe he did this to me. Why is he doing better now? That's selfish. You're comparing yourself. It's that's just... selfish. If you aren't in a good place, that's your fault. If you, after three, four, five years of ma uh, marriage is done now, and you haven't gotten to a better place, that's your fault. You're bitter, you're angry, and you're seeing somebody who used to be beneath you be ahead of you by your own standards, and you're mad because you could have had a piece of that. It's entitlement. You left because you didn't want to date down. If we want to be super petty. Yeah. That's what it is. But now that he caught up to you and surpassed you, now he doesn't want to be in the same position you were in, maybe that's what it is. That's what bother bothers me. You left because you dated down. He surpassed you and he's like, hey, well, uh, sorry about before. Uh, no hard feelings. I'm out. He wouldn't do that. You're pissed mm. because he took the same position that you did. Mm. He's at the position where when you left that, mm. he's the ideal man you would have wanted for your dream life. And you're realizing you missed out on that. But and she, you know, there's something else that she said that was interesting. She said, I gave him 10 best years of my life, mm -hmm. meaning she already feels like she's past her prime. Well, that's how society makes women feel. Sure, but that's how she also feels. Yeah. I know women who are in their mid-30s who feel great about themselves. Oh, yeah. So that's not an excuse. It's not. Right? And so if you're thinking that way, then of course you're not going to attract anything positive. So, boo-boo, you have the ability to change a lot. You know, we live in a place where women can make just as much as men. You guys can do the work. You guys can create your own opportunities. You can ask men out. You can do all this stuff. If your life is not going the way you want it to, it's not because your ex was a deadbeat. It's because... It's your fault.
The fact that you stayed with him for 10 years, that's your fault. The fact that you're bitter right now, that's your fault. All this to say, there's no point in wallowing in this. And the fact that you're angry about it is you're not angry at him. You're angry at yourself for not doing what you needed to do there's something to set yourself up. There's something unhealthy about that. About being angry about it? Her and being angry at... Of course, she's bitter. Yo, man. She's bitter about life. Yo, Only somebody who's bitter about life would get mad that an ex is doing well. Concentrate on yourself. Yeah. Be, stay focused, B. Yeah. Even if he wasted a lot of years with you, you decided to stay in that relationship. You should have cut bait way earlier. When you focus on yourself, you're in competition with people that you don't even know you're in competition with. Yeah. And now you're in that position. He doesn't even know he's a competition. He's just that ex, and he's sorry about what he did before. Focus. So, if you got bitter feelings about your ex, if somebody you left started doing way better, and you're like, oh my God, I'm just, stop. Just focus on your own stuff. Do better for yourself. I had a girl who did that to me. She was upset that I got my shit together. She She's got like, upset that you got your shit together. Say that again. Here's the thing, right? She got upset that you got your shit together. So, when I wasn't doing much, had no money in my name, nothing else, she didn't think it was a good prospect. Then I started figuring stuff out, and she's like, oh, are you really coming? And she tried to slide back in, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, nah, I don't need none of that. But I just remember her being like, man, I, I wish it would have been like this a couple of years back. And I was like, no, but it took me this whole journey to get to this place. It took me this long, it took me My this results long. didn't just come here. It takes time. That's it. You know, so. You got to work on that. I mean, I didn't get mad about it, but yeah. So, all this to say, guys, man or woman, just don't be bitter. It really doesn't do you any justice. And if you're feeling angry about something like that, you don't have to beat yourself up over it. Just don't give it energy. It's not real unless you start fucking doing stuff about it. All right, you got a little bit of ego. Your ego's bruised. Keep moving. Start working on stuff. It'll pass. Give you more power to work on you. Exactly. I hope it gives you more fuel to work on you because, girl, staying and dwelling on that, it's not, not going to advance. It's not going to advance your predicament, but no. whatever. Yeah. What so tell us what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear your input. What do you guys think about this story? <laughs>